Hi, I'm Cinder Sports' Noah Kozlov. We're in San Francisco where the Class of 2016 Hall of Fame was announced on Saturday night. I'm here with Howard Balzer, longtime NFL writer, Hall of Fame selector. So that meeting started at 6 o'clock this morning and, and you're still awake. You did your radio <laughs> show. Maybe you fell asleep during that. But what was the longest debate of the morning? The longest debate was Ed DeBartolo, the former, of course, owner of the San Francisco 49ers. And it wasn't that it was a contentious debate or anything like that. It was if a lot of people who wanted to say good things wanted to make sure they got him in in case there were those who wondered about him because okay. he'd been a finalist a couple times and wanted to make sure that a lot of the word got out about him. And so that was the longest. That one lasted a little over uh, 50 minutes. The second longest, of course, though, was one that wasn't surprisingly long, was Terrell Owens. Mm -hmm. And that one lasted 43 minutes and was a, a very uh, passionate debate about T.O. and his career, not only on the field, but other things, of course, associated with him. And, of course, as we saw, maybe as celebrating as we do the class this year is the fact that, as controversial, is that Terrell Owens didn't even make the reduction to mm. 10 from 15. So uh, that's going to be interesting going forward, what that pot potentially means for him and then other receivers as they start coming in for potential selection. Did that surprise you, that he didn't make the final 10? And does what happened with him on the first ballot, does that remind you of anybody else in the past? Maybe Chris Carter a little bit, okay. but for different reasons. I think there was a lot of people expected him to get in, but he didn't. None that maybe had the, the real mixed career in terms of all the publicized things that happened with, with Terrell Owens as it a, as a concerned, his relationship with his teammates mm -hmm. and things like that. So it didn't surprise me that he didn't go in. It did somewhat surprise me that he didn't even make that first reduction. All right, so it's not just the Hall of Fame tonight. Cam Newton wins the MVP. J.J. Watt won Defensive Player of the Year for the third time. What do you make of the, the whole night, the whole TV event? It's an event. That's what, that's what this has all become a part of for the NFL. It's all, it's all events. I mean, heck, open, Monday night, opening night, instead of having just a normal media day, which is, of course, crazy anyway, now they made it NFL opening night, prime time. It's, it's a big TV show now. That, that's what it is, and that's, that's what the NFL does. And so they want to give out the awards. It's good for the AP. I vote on those awards mm -hmm. as well. And so it's nice to see the, those being recognized the way they are. But, of course, they have the comedians and the videos and all that. It's, <laughs> hey, it's a TV show. Right. And, and that's all part of the NFL entertainment and why this sport is at the level it is in this country right now. And one of the most entertaining players of all time took nine seconds for him to get into the Hall of Fame, and that was Brett Favre. Yes. We do the whole conversation yeah, without even talking about Brett. <laughs> I wouldn't imagine. For Howard Balzer, I'm Cinder Sports' Noah Kozlov here in San Francisco on the night before Super Bowl 50. Thank you.